Hello, it's Daryl with 10 Foot Truck, Good Attitudes Services. It's been a busy weekend, mostly moving, one delivery. And uh, tomorrow it's a construction removal. So it's pretty much been a busy last couple days until next week. So uh, the moving job I did yesterday was from morning till night. It was, it reminded me of some of those moves I've done way back in the past. It took a lot of physical exertion because it was three flights with an elevator, but the destination was four flights without an elevator. So all stairs and these stairs were like even kind of out of or they weren't really ordinary flights. I think I counted about 60 stairs. So, and, um, the load, I had to do a lot of walking, you know, getting stuff in the elevator, walking. It was a full load. The truck was packed. Um, we had to really put an effort to close the door. Uh, a lot of heavy stuff. Luckily, I had my um, dolly that, that folds down um, to, folds into a four-wheeler. Oh, sorry. It folds into a four-wheeler, and I had my four-wheeler and my appliance dolly, so that, I was glad I brought all, all those uh, dollies because for the elevator, you can you know get the stack stuff on the four wheelers, and that was uh, helped a lot for timing. But when we got to the to the uh, and I did all this by myself, I didn't have a helper. I mean, I had a helper the first part of the move. Uh, the customer was able to help me in the elevator, but when we got to the uh, stairs, he was not he um, he didn't have the ability to really climb stairs with stuff. So I did that whole unload myself. So it took quite a while. It was, it's like a seven hour unload. Um, people don't realize that when you get to, when you're going up four flights, so 60 stairs, it's, it's pretty time consuming. It's very physically uh, draining. Uh, you know, you really don't have to go to a gym when you're doing that kind of stuff. Uh, stair climber with <laughs> 100 pounds going up, you know, it's, it's a lot of exercise. So I got my exercise in for the week. Um, pretty sore, but I'm still doing, I'm still able to go do a job and I did a job today, uh, I'm doing a job tomorrow. So it didn't stop me. Um, and it was a full day. Um, I don't know how many hours, but it was 16 hours or whatever, something like that. Um, the four flights are brutal. I mean, uh, it, uh, luckily I, what I do with the dollies, uh, for a lot of the stuff that's just uh, small items that you can't, you don't want to be carrying like, when you're doing that many stairs, you want to maximize the amount. I mean, you don't want to go too heavy. That's one thing I learned. I went a little too heavy on some of those and it's exhausting. So you want to keep it as a medium as far as like getting up, but you want to also maximize how much of stuff you're bringing each trip because um, you don't really want to do, you want to reduce the amount of trips you're going to do on the stairs. It'll help you out a lot. So what I did is I got a uh, dish pack and uh, another uh, one of those plastic bins and I strapped it to the dolly so I could put things like smaller items and stack things in there as opposed to having to take each individual. Since I'm doing it myself, it helped, uh, you know, maybe even a garbage can where you can put a bunch of stuff inside it and strap it to the dolly uh, and then doing boxes as high as you can, but not doing maybe one heavy box or like two lighter ones you know try to like you don't want to do all heavy boxes i made a mistake of stacking all heavy boxes and man that one run up the stairs that was brutal so uh, it was a, quite a bit of stuff uh, and um luckily i had one guy help me do the mattress um and he had a, he had a mattress um cover which is cool it was like a tarp i don't know if you've seen those it's like a tarp where it zips over the top of the mattress and it has it has Velcro handles attached to the tarp, so that made it pretty easy getting that up. Without that, it's really hard to, to get a mattress. So I'm glad, and the customer gave it to me after, so you can have it. So I'm gonna use that for for when I can't, um, when there's no handles on the mattress. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, that was I wasn't I wasn't expecting it. I really wasn't expecting it to be that. Um, I hadn't done. I didn't even think about it when he told me there was that many flights. I really didn't think about it until so I looked at it. And I'm like. 60 stairs. I mean, I think it was 50 or 60 stairs. It was like, 
it really drains you by the time you're top of the stairs when you're hiking a dolly up. Uh, if I didn't have a dolly, it'd be horrible. You have to have a dolly when you're doing that. Uh, you have to have a really good dolly, like with good, when you go up the stairs, um, with a bigger stuff, like when I did it, like a freezer or something, yeah, of course you need the refrigerator dolly with the, with the um, belts on the bottom. But for the boxes, I prefer to have a dolly with the bigger, bigger uh, wheels, uh, air wheels, um, air field wheels instead of the pneumatic wheels. Uh, it makes it easier to, to launch, you know, to pick that up on the stairs each time. You don't have as much, it gives you more uh, leverage. So um, I don't think I'm gonna be doing stairs in a while. Like I can do those once in a while, but lately I've been getting a lot of these moves with stairs. I mean, three flights up, four, you know, three flights down, three flights, both locations, uh, four flights. Now that's, yeah, that's getting a little bit over, uh, for me it's a little extreme, but one thing I was, I was able to do it. I kept, you know, just trying to have a positive attitude and I'm going to do this job. I'm going to finish it. I'm going to empty that truck. And I just kept focusing on that because I knew, uh, I mean, I was trying to, I, want, I didn't want to get any negative thoughts in my mind because I knew it was like, you look at the truck, you know, I got it. I did barely put a dent in that thing and I got to go up these stairs. And it just, it just seems like it's never ending when you're doing that, especially by yourself. So, uh, yeah, it was, uh, Quite a challenge, but I think in that sense, um, it's prepared me for anything. I mean, there's nothing more extreme than that. I mean, as far as moving, uh, going to ground level, like tomorrow, I'm lucky I'm doing a construction removal. It's going to be heavy stuff, but it's ground level. That's really nothing. I mean, that's like stairs. I don't think people realize how much more, uh, that's why a lot of moving companies uh, charge extra shit for stairs. I don't, but I should in a sense because <laughs> it's just, the, to me, it just adds more time. So like I told the customer, you know, in reality, if, if, if you had ground level to ground level or even just one flight, this job would have taken a couple hours, but like that's how much time stairs can, because you have to go all the way up, all the way back down, all, you know, I think it was like, for me, I can't remember what the time. It was probably at least 15 minutes just to get to the top. And you got to come back down. So, um, I don't know. I, I calculated, I did a rough calculation. I think it did about 16,000 steps, stair steps on that move. So, I don't have to go to the gym. I, I mean, I haven't gone to the gym in a long time. But <laughs> with this kind of work, you, you know, you do these kind of jobs, you really don't. Um, I do like to go to the gym to do train and stuff if I I might start doing that again but uh, that was like stair climbing all day long so yeah very tiring uh, but anyway I got a, a, a job today after that job was so extreme that the job today was a piece of cake and the customer was really nice in fact today the customer texted me really I really appreciate you, you, know, you coming out there and doing this for me and I'm gonna keep your number and I call you back. I need other work. So that's gonna be repeat customers. So I'm glad, even as tired as I was, I was up really late. I, I, I almost considered canceling, but I, I did not, but not because I already scheduled that job a week ago. So I just didn't sleep as much, but I was able to get out there and do the job. And now that's gonna be a repeat customer that could go on for a while, you know, and plus they may pass my number out. But, and the guy yesterday was really, he was like, you did really good work. I'm really, uh, really good um really impressed by that and he said that uh his last mover was terrible so so he may call me back uh the, so that's two repeat customers and then tomorrow we'll see what happens on that job that's uh i don't know until i get out there but so far that's what's going on this week um the weather is really nice it's cooling off and it's gonna be all cool next week my favorite kind of weather is fall so and it's not raining, so it's, it's nice. So anyway, um, that's about it. Oh, another thing too is I, um, on that last customer, he did have some stuff I had to remove, and I, I thought about charging him extra, but I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and do it just as a favor. Just I'll take the stuff because I got this other removal tomorrow, so I can. And it's not that much, so I can throw that all in with my other removal and. Uh, it's not going to cost me any additional cost because it's going to go with the main the main load for tomorrow. So 
So that was uh, that was good that I, I could do that for him, for the customer. So uh, plus he had given me some tools and stuff and blanket. He gave me some more moving pads. I mean, I have so many moving pads that I've got for customers. I need a storage unit for those alone. But so yeah, I don't know how, if anyone's out there doing uh, moving jobs. I know a lot of guys out there. Um, I watch her jump removal and uh, mainly on YouTube. So and there's a couple movers, but. Uh, Nothing wrong with moving. You know, it, uh, it is much more exercise, but uh, a lot of work out there for uh, doing that kind of. Because it's it's difficult, and uh, it's one of those jobs that people just don't want. I mean, people will tell you when I go on a moving job, they're always like, oh, moving's the worst thing. I hate it. So stuff that people just don't want to do, like they just can't stand it. Those are the type of jobs you'll always have work because no one wants to do it so they gotta hire somebody or and they don't want to do it themselves in fact this customer he was going to rent a truck and have his friend um help him but his friend you know obviously backed out like a lot of times in moving that happens and then when he found out that i offer a truck and the equipment and all that for a better price he's like well why would i even rent a truck so he went with me and he was happy and that's that's a win-win situation that's the way i like to run my business is a win-win situation I get the you know I, it helps me and it helps the customer, um, like a balanced uh, a balanced uh, transaction for uh, the way I look at it. It's always a win-win situation. Every move I do, and I like to present my service that way. It's like I will bring out all the equipment, in the truck, and you're gonna it's gonna be a better price or over over the long run it'll be a better deal and much more or less stress than having to rent a truck and do it on your own and hire and have your friends come out. Um, I've been doing this for a long time, so I know what to do. Um, and I have all the equipment and everything for that. So that's the way it's going for this week. Good Attitude Services 10 foot truck. Um, hope everyone's being prosperous and uh, having a great uh, fall or autumn and going into the winter months so we'll see so far the weather's been great i think it's gonna be pretty good for for a couple weeks or at least some, not more than that but at least until october or november it'll be nice to go outside and then it starts getting a little bit colder but for now i'm going to enjoy the weather and um, i'm happy to get out there and work good attitude services 10 foot truck have a great day have a great week signing out